Let's go. Let's go. Walking into Appomattox Regional Governor School, Carrie Brockwell is just like any other senior when she's in class. And then the fourth mode. Lydian. That's Lydian. Surrounded by talent. I think I definitely am kind of like a normal kid here because we all have our thing that we love and we're all working hard on it. So this is me here. I was playing Lady Larkin. And, and, one and it's time. here she has thrived. This is the auditorium, which is like we, you talk about me getting on stage and becoming a different person and like this is where it happens. This is where it happens. It's about that the entire time. Four years in high school, learning, crafting, and becoming a true artist. I look at pictures of myself in freshman year, and I'm like, if I could go back and tell that girl that she was making the best decision of her life, like, I wish I could. But part of that conversation would also include another side of the 17-year-old. Please welcome to Miss Carrie Rockwell. called Daddy Said. I hope you guys like it. The singer-songwriter performing on stages across the country. Playing guitar. Playing keyboards. And singing songs she wrote. Actually, telling my own stories, I love doing that a lot more than, you know, than stepping into somebody else's shoes. It is Carrie Brockwell. Carrie is living her dream and making a name for herself among musicians. And while at 15, the golden ticket was nice, that's not going to be her defining moment. We are in my bedroom currently, in my little songwriting space where I kind of write songs, learn songs, and um, just kind of my like, my home, my inspirational space, I guess. Raised in a family of musicians, it was always music and it's always around me and um, so I was kind of blessed to grow up with it surrounding me and it being in my life forever, you know. <laughs> Never one to sit idle, Carrie's now teaching herself the mandolin. I'm learning. <laughs> so that's GBD. And while she's still in high school, she's also spending time on stage in Nashville but never forgetting her roots or her age. You definitely can't forget it. And I think that's not a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. And, you know, I think it's important to remember that I am a kid, you know, when I'm on stage. While she may say she's a kid. I'm like, dude. Carrie is a force to be reckoned with. That person on stage is the person that I become when I'm in the place that I love. Good morning, Mr. Stinky. Carrie's busy life means some of the usual teenage rituals have been skipped, but don't say she's made sacrifices. I didn't go to the homecoming dance because I was playing a show, and you know I'm not going to the football games every weekend because I'm working, I'm writing, and I'm I'm playing these shows, and I'm you know building my craft and doing what I love. Life after high school will mean going to college in Nashville. For now, though, she finds solace and sanctuary where it all began, and for Carrie. This is where it always will be found. I can come home from a long day of school and, and just decompress and be fully me. I don't have to be on and I don't, you know, I don't have to be anything but me in this room. While she's living life at a pretty fast pace, Carrie Brockwell remains well grounded in family and faith and in the belief she can accomplish her goals while remaining true to herself. That's a look inside Wayne's world. I'm Wayne Colville, CBS 6 News.